No. Oh, uh, yeah. Strive had a way better release than Sign. Infinitely. Strive is like a way better, is a way better game on release than Sign. Infinitely. 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 Sign on release was such a bad game. It is probably one of the worst games I've ever played. But like, you know, with time, with Rev, it became incredibly good. Sign 1.0. Sorry, sucked. And Strive changed as much as Exerted? Of course. You should remember, Exerted changed over five years to be a very good game at the end, and people are still complaining at the end of Rev 2. I feel like a lot of people forget that. The biggest complaint at the end of Exerted's life was we wanted a bigger update that was different from Rev 2.0. That was the biggest complaint. How did people quit the game because they didn't want to play the same version? Now suddenly Rev 2 is the god game. What happened? How'd this happen? I was someone, I was some of the last active competitors in, uh, in Rev. It's funny seeing people who didn't play the game say it's the god game now. It's like Strive like scared them. <laughs> All right, you guys want to talk about Sign 1.0? 1.0 Sign had an OS in it that was, it was called the YRC OS. So you could YRC any move between 25 meter and 49% meter. Any move, right? That means essentially like you could do this. But think of it if you could do this <laughs> for for 25 meter every time. So there became an OS where if you hit them, right? Like if you did this, you wouldn't RC and you'd get a hit. It essentially functioned like this. If you had 25 meter, you could peer or YRC the startup of moves. Some moves would still come out like fireballs, like Gunflame YRC and Sun Edge YRC were two good examples but it's 25% meter. The problem, or the, the thing that's like important to note is you could OS every move that you did in a combo with YRC, which meant you could literally not burst in the game until they hit 50 meter or they finished a combo. Like you could do two full combo, or like maybe like a combo and a half that were essentially bursty. That's one. Two is command grabs. Souls was much better. If you can imagine that, it was 30 frames recovery. That meant if you jumped wild throw, you basically could not punish it. Um, and Sol was not even the best character. He was like fifth. That was the best he ever got in Exert. Number one was Ram. It was like Ram or Alpha. Ram had a sword system. Think of it as like they, they were swords that stayed on the screen and it would, it would track you and hit you. And she'd get a combo if they hit you. But in Sion 1.0, if you hit Ram, the swords would not go away. So what would happen is you'd hit her, the swords would go off and then stagger you, and then she'd combo you. That's the same with Elfelt Pineberry. Elfelt would not, Elfelt's Pineberry could not be moved and did not go away on hit, which meant if you hit her after she tossed grenade, you would have to essentially get to a certain point where you could not get hit by the grenade or she would get up and combo you. Again, this is also the era of tech buttons. Tech buttons were essentially when you teched in the air, you'd fall forward like this. Uh, it would carry invul with you. It was strike invul, so you could be air thrown. You essentially had an invulnerable tech option from the air. So, uh, yeah, it was one of the main problems of X-ray throughout its entire life. It was tech button. Also, I thought had unblockable loops. Ram the Fall also had unblockables, but they just came later. There's a specific setup. Zato's, Zato was broken. I forgot about Zato. Zato's thing is he could summon Eddie from a puddle, right? Like, let's say if he did Drill. Drill would leave a puddle, and he could le he'd summon Eddie from the puddle. If he set up Drill behind you, he could summon Eddie, and Eddie would just drop right on top of you anywhere on the screen, right? So how you would deal with Eddie, or how you deal with Zato, is you'd, you'd 2k or, like, you know, 2p or something. Like, you'd 2k the puddle, and it would kill it. But in Sign 1.0, you could not kill the puddle. Essentially, you could not approach Zato if the puddle was right behind you because you would have to risk Nobiru spawning underneath you at any point. And if Nobiru went off, think of like Frog, but it's like a direct like wall. Eddie goes up to like Kai's height here from the ground. It's like the god ant here. And this, this gave him hella damage and it would do hella stun. If you got hit by two of them on counter hit, you died. Thanks so much for the raid, Obama. In fact, we, you know, we're just talking about Sion 1.0. You like Sion 1.0, right? You like that little game, don't you? I'm trying to think, what's, what's some Sion 1.0 footage we could watch? That game was gross. I think Faust was top tier. I don't remember who else was top tier. I remember it was probably Milia. 
How is top tier? Yeah, Faust, I mean, prior to Strive, Faust was top tier since Reload, right? Since Reload, so he's been top tier for, I think he was top tier for 19 years. That may be the most consistent top tier character in history. Oh, Sign Sin was broken too. I actually have a good idea of what we should watch. This is, this is about almost seven years ago now. We're getting to a boomer game. This is actually a 7-3 matchup. So, Potemkin could not beat Beak Driver. This move alone, Beak Driver, smoked him. All Falsy has to do is just do... do Beak Driver. And move. Oh, Falsy fucked up. You also could not cover DP and Mac Dash from Sin. So like he could RPS every time. He also had a god six feet. You know what's funny? This is when Potemkin was hype. Everyone in the chat's like, damn, I hate Potemkin. <laughs> One more chance. Oh my god, he actually got hit. See, look at this. People are actually hype. Do you imagine people getting hype like this for for Potemkin in the modern age? It's like, you know, people used to get hella hype for Soul. Now no one would get the hype for Soul. Yeah, he. everyone said Guilty Gear was dead when Donova won. That was a classic. <laughs> you cannot RC during Hammerfall? No, Potemkin was bottom tier from the very first release. He was second worst in Sign 1.0, then he was the worst from Sign 1.1 on. 1 .1 on. Who was the worst? It was Slayer. Slayer was so bad in Unreleased. It's like another another match. Oh, Faulty versus Elvin. This is gonna be a classic. This is how you know Sin was juiced. You have no idea how hard it is to anti air this move in this game. So this is top tier Faust. If you've ever wondered what a top tier Faust looks like, this is like perfect. That would that would make like that uh, jump 2k into that going my way. That's plus. You cannot disrespect that. <laughs> That's the Faust player classic. <laughs> that shit is so cheap. That was a that was such a good meme. Sid has no mix. Thanks so much for the Theresa Forcey. Goddamn, 42 months. Jump key. Oh, the D. See, that's, that's the Sin classic. They could do run up DP and they could just start offense from it and it would catch everything. That shit is fucked up. This next one is the perfect example of what I was talking about. So this is, this is what Chip does. This is why I'll never... I'll never feel bad about playing against Chip and, and Strive. Oh, he's dying anyway. Gamma is so good in this game too. Alright, this is- he has a four-way mix-up from his wall claim that loops into itself. <laughs> or, no, it's when he unclings and presses jump H. And it decides if he hits you on the left side or on the right side. You cannot OS against everything. Alright, next time. Oh, wait a minute! OS doesn't work. Can't see him. Where is he? I actually lost track of him, and I'm pretty good at paying attention to it. That change is so good. This is death. Oh, Bear's gonna kill him, but that was, uh... There's no way he's gonna block that shit anyways. It's so hard to block against this character. You have no idea how hard it is to block against Chip. Nothing, there is no mix-up in Strive that'll feel as bad as Chip's shit. See, look at that! Look at that shit! <laughs> this shit is so cheap! Look at this! You cannot, you cannot react. Oh, this is death. He, this is burst safe and death. Ooh, and the hellfire damage what a loss. There was an OS in gear games where if you had a jump P, so how it works is if you burst Chip's air normals, he just FDs. 
So you cannot, you can't burst his air confidence. This is why, like, after ex being exposed to Strive, I realized they were kind of woke simplifying stri simplifying Strive. Because there's so much bullshit in this game that, like, I feel like people couldn't even imagine. And yeah, Happy Chaos is actually a great example. People idolize Plus R playing against fucking Sword Zappa. And then they, they're like, this Happy Chaos is the worst character I've ever played against. <laughs> Zaf Sword Zappa is like, if you, if Happy Chaos could mix you high-low from full screen. Dogra came from uh, from Guilty Gear, I believe. I think he, yeah, he was a Robo player, a Robo Kai player. This is top tier Raven, too. This, he got Oki off everything. And he, you had to hold it. Yeah, he's dead. That burst turned out to be a great thing. This is this is all burst safe. Yeah, see, see, this is what happens if you try to burst it. He just FDs. Uh, Rev 1.1 Raven was the god tier one. That was the one where blood gauge didn't matter, or uh, the blood meter, the horny bar, the horny box. Dogar played pretty well. All right, I'm gonna send you guys over to Sage him because he's probably ranting, and you know that's just gonna be funny. So, thanks a lot for hanging out. Thanks for all the subs and follows.